Who is that with Belazor? I was too far away to see clearly. It could have been anyone. You recognized Belazor, right? Well, of course I did, but you mortals all look the same to me. Mortal? What, it was a human? Not exactly. The reach of chaos is long, and its demons take many forms. It, uh, must have been another of Abaddon's servants. Come on, we must return to the Nexus. holding out on me. There's no time for this. Abaddon's forces are in motion. Abaddon, Arella, big deal. None of this has anything to do with me, Scree. I just want to find my boyfriend and go home. Scree is not your enemy, Jennifer. I sent him to guide and protect you. You're Arella? Butterflies. That's not what I was expecting. I am in all things, and I appear in many forms. I understand your frustration, but you must realize that our goals are one and the same. I doubt that. It's true. I wish to see you safely return to your home, but... Why am I being roped into some turf war you're having with Abaddon, then? And the way I see it, this is a personal problem. Yours. Jennifer, if Abaddon gets his way, there will be no more Talis for you to return to. At least not one you would recognize. For eternity, we have existed here in the Nexus. He and I, the one balancing the other so that all can flourish. Without him, there would be no change, no decay. Life in the realms would stagnate. But without my presence, all would descend into the mindless frenzy of chaos. Both sides are needed for harmony. Darkness and light. Chaos and order. A balanced unity. But Abaddon has become obsessed with power. He would see me destroyed, my influence lost, no matter the consequence. What happened in Solem was just the beginning. He will not rest until he has corrupted all the realms, yours included, and become the sole primal force. This is all making me dizzy. I'm just a coffee shop waitress. Don't you need some kind of superhero helping you out here? Come now. You have seen the power within yourself. Now unlocked, this will continue to grow. Your part in these events was sealed when you were but a baby. Journey to Aquis, and you will see more of the damage wrought by Abaddon's madness. Okay, okay. I'll go. Continue to guide her loyal Abdazur. She will need your strength when her full self is revealed. She is a wild creature, but I believe her heart is good.
Hey, now this is more like it. It's beautiful, Scree. Rather more to your taste than Solom, eh? You said it. Just caught the sunset, too. Wow. The skies are always golden here. Okay, okay, we'll write the brochure later. We're on business. Precisely. Come on, then. Let's head for the water. As in us in the water? Naturally. Uh-huh. Um, one thing you should know, Scree. The girl can't swim. You can't swim? Oh. And you can, I suppose, a great hunk of rock? I don't need to swim. Why go to all that trouble? I just sink to the bottom and walk. This I must see. Aquis is a water-filled realm, Jen. I, I was rather hoping... Well, I thought you mortals were... Yeah, well, the city I'm from isn't a water-filled realm, okay? Of course, most parents took the trouble to get their kids out swimming. Some even went horse riding, too. Girl Scouts tap classes. With me, you get none of that extracurricular crap, okay? Fine, sorry. What is that sound? I'm not sure, but I believe it's coming from the middle of the lagoon, wouldn't you say? I guess so. You know, the Undyne are a very cultured race, aquatic creatures, intelligent, great allies to Arella. Like you say, intelligent. And I gather they're extremely resourceful. Aquis isn't naturally the easiest place for them to survive. Hmm, you may have guessed. I'm not a total expert on this realm, so maybe I should do a little exploring and uh, report back. Sure. I'll just settle down here and take in some rays. Good luck, Rocky. <clears throat> Sink and walk. Wait till they get that in the Olympics.
vortex certainly creates a strong current. If it was going the other way, I could reach the room above.
Hello, can you hear me? I said hello, hey, can you hear me? Inokawa and Scree. Hello, Scree. I am Aino. Aino? Oh, so you share a name with the queen of the realm. That's right, isn't it? You undine have a queen, Aino. Oh, stupid, what a fool. Please, please forgive my rudeness, Highness. I did not think a queen would be here. Highness, I... Is this contraption? There is no way in, Scree. Well, how do you get out then? This is my prison cell, Scree. I am to remain in here until the time of my sacrifice. You're to be killed? But why? A malady has fallen upon our people. A terrible plague of the body and mind. Almost all of my people have succumbed. But not I. It was decided that I be placed in this machine to appease the Leviathans, the gods of the sea. That's terrible. It is an honor. What greater way to serve my people. This was your choice? It was King Adaro's decree. My husband was one of the first to fall to the plague. I am prepared for my fate, Scree. Forgive my impertinence, but it is superstitious nonsense to suppose that your death could remedy a disease. Surely your realm would be better served by discovering the source. Is there some contagion? Something tainting the water, perhaps? Unlikely. The water in our lagoons is filtered through vast machines. I can't let you die like this. Let me try to free you. Please let my companion and I try to get to the bottom of all this. Ah, one thing, your majesty. My companion is ill-equipped for life in your world. I had to leave her on the surface. One of the dry ones. Yes, immortal. You know how fussy they are about breathing. Put your hand to the glass, Scree. Pass this gift onto your friend. Warn her to seek out water before adopting our form. Thank you, Aino. I will return.
Jen? Oh, you're back. I'd throw you a towel, but... You... So, how'd it go, Rockster? I think I know what's going on here. And there's someone I want you to meet. What's with the arm? Oh, yes. Well, uh, before you meet her, I've uh, uh, brought you back a gift. A present? Yes, uh, yes. It's a surprise. Damn right it is. So, what is it? Show me. Uh, no, uh, no, I say we do this properly. Jen, a gift is a gift, after all. Are you all right, Scree? You sure you've not got that deep sea, what you call it, ringing in the ear stuff? Oh, I'm fine. So, close your eyes, hold out your hands. You are kidding. Now, don't spoil the fun. Come on. Unbelievable. You're a grown-up rock now, remember. All right, go on. Jen, sorry, I, I, I really... There was no other way. I, I didn't think you'd want to after the last time, and I mean, you, you've always wanted to swim, yes? Ah, I'm so stupid. What's wrong with me today? Jen, dive into the water! You're supposed to be in the water before you transform! Quickly! Oh, screw you. You really are the most pathetic, stupid, selfish lump of granite I have ever known. Ugh! I heard that. What? The Undyne communicate through telepathy. Breathing's no problem either. And I don't know if you've noticed, but you're swimming. I don't know if you've noticed, but you are in the doghouse. Hate me later. Right now, I think we may have a problem. I know, she's dying! Help me. Help me. We have got to get that contraption down somehow. Scree! The cage must be operated by a separate mechanism. There was nothing in the tower itself. I pray we're not too late. It's not too late as long as she's alive. 